everyone, this is Justin from class. Uh, <clears throat> I just finished up my project. I have everything done. I just have to work on doing the little finer details. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have. This is the easy part. I've had this done forever. What it does is that basically it takes an input, the directions, our instruction, I have my instruction set is, it's four digits long. Uh, their most work is the first two digits are the instruction, which means it rotates the robot where it's supposed to go. The second two, just like our computer, it's kind of like the address, but mostly I use it for distance. This takes the information and transmits those digits out by regulation Morse code. I only have numbers put in because there's really no sense in having letters. And the robot that ventures is this little bad boy. He's um a lot more wiring involved with this one. Uh, not too many though. And yes, that is a speaker on there. And you'll see why later. But right here, as you can see, there's a little photoelectric cell uh, that takes the message and. <coughs> receives what the transmission and then from there on it goes on and does what it needs to do. So and now that you guys are used to my voice and my atrocious artistic skills, I'll show you uh my programming side of everything. Yes, I'll do a little quick run through, but as you can see that is a lot of code. Uh and obviously the speaker is there for definitely reasons, but Basically, there's three servos on it, as you saw. The servos are really duff to power ups, but all you do is just set them up, say, hey, we're ready to do it right now, stop them, make sure they don't go everywhere. Uh, then you just go right in. Uh, basically, you're trying to read in the directions, and in order to do that, you have to listen. <coughs> the listen function, all that does is it starts a loop, and that loop never ends until a signal length of two seconds is received, the, basically the end of transmission signal. It keeps going through, it registers how long each signal is, and then after that it uh, pushes them towards a new string. I have a little bit of error checking. If the, they're all Morse code, because Morse code, the letter, or the numbers are in five bits, uh, in five bit lengths. If you have like 19 characters, you obviously need 20. Um, for just one and single instruction, so all it does is it just adds one. Basically, adding the one gives it a better chance of if you have to add four, if you have to add five ones, it turns the next value into zero. So, nothing fancy, nothing. It just tries to negate it. After that, it changes the patterns of ones and zeros, the uh, dots and dashes, to actual numeric patterns. And then again, uh, if the formatted strings aren't in CESA 4, because my instruction set is four or four digits long, it just adds zeros again to negate everything. Once it does that, it returns the value. So after that, you basically run directions, and later on you drop the flag and then go into the loop program into it. But when you run it, all it does is the first two go right to tells you if you're gonna go left, right, or straight. And uh, over here, this is the actual transmitting thing. All it is just a simple, it goes through and says, takes the input, puts it into a character array, and then prints out, begins transmission, sends the transmission out via the LED like I showed you. And then once it's done, it gives the end of transmission beam and then says it's done. All right, here's my little demonstration of my two little robots. Uh, my little underpowered adventure and my overpowered little Morse code maker. But I'm gonna do just a simple instruction. I'm gonna have a turn right real quick. Uh, basically, turning right will prevent it from slamming into this one. So, just make sure everything's all adjusted. So, in order to turn right, all I do is 0, 2. And then I'll do a duration of about like 20 milliseconds times 50. Uh, 
and that gives it about a second uh, run time. Or, yeah, about a second run time. So, maximum of uh, about five seconds is what you can get out of this little instruction set if you did the math. And then to end it, you just hit E. Basically, once you hit enter, everything goes, jumps in, and starts the program. So, I'm going to show you guys that real quick. But, as you can see, a little Morse code. And yes, it does take a little while. <laughs> And hopefully this baby will run because I've been having problems with low battery. But do a quick turn left. There's the ending tone about now. And it should go right there. And plays your little Indiana Jones theme song. But that's my project. That's how neat it is. Um, I absolutely, that's what the code comes out to be. I think this is a really, one of my cleanest programs I've ever done. So, good luck on yours, and enjoy your school life.